very serious lumps of granite in these walls. Yeah, so they're about six foot tall. I'm five foot five and a half, if I remember rightly. All granite. In about yeah five foot considering now they've probably got a course under the ground of foundations Yeah, this wall is about, yeah, about three feet thick. So you've got two, two outer courses and then fillers in the middle. It's the same one I was walking along. Some of the heaviest stones, some of the some of the heaviest sort of walling I've ever come across. I'll show you a bit down there. But each stone is each of these stones are about as big as a man could lift on his own, and probably doing his back in while he's at it. 
but the saying that, that well they're on the limit yeah you definitely wouldn't I'd yeah some of them big much bigger than a man could lift the majority right on the limit of what you could lift once or twice and then be fucked <laughs> Miles upon miles of very heavy granite walls. Miles upon miles of it. Right. I get done for having my mobile out. Some of it new. That fella didn't have much strength. see here the the rough land that hasn't been cleared so you can see um,
Oh, excuse me. You can see what an enormous amount of stone there was to clear off the land in order to um, prepare it for agriculture. That's very rough grazing land. So basically, if they hadn't have cleared all, if they hadn't have built huge walls everywhere, they would have just ended up having to make huge piles of stone. So, yeah, logical. think they're gonna get fed. Sorry lads, just looking at your walls. <laughs> so yeah, point being important to note that a lot of these dry stone walls and perhaps, and well, I'm sure in the, in the uh, with the Incas, it was similarly similar that they serve a dual purpose. They're um, in one, on one level, there to build boundaries, obviously, and um, keeping livestock on the other level they serve the purpose of uh, of clearing the stone off the fields and uh, putting them in, in a manageable way so that's also obviously of use so it's um they clear the fields and whilst doing it they've got a resource to build their boundaries so they're um all right it's efficient rather than bringing in wood to build fences or whatever, or hedges or whatever. Hi, walls as far as the eye can see. These um, these granite posts sticking out of the wall are an unusual feature of this area. I've, I've noted them around the place. They're in other walls occasionally. I'm not entirely sure what they're about, whether they're there to string a wire across if needs be. I don't know. Or do they go right down? And they're there to keep the wall upright, which seems like a pretty serious, I'm not sure entirely necessary, but maybe. Beautiful walling around here though. Really beautiful work. Aye. Again, just give an impression of what this land was like pre prior to clearing. It's 
insane amount of work that they must have gone to to clear this land. You can see they have um, these, sometimes these little piles, you wonder. I think they're just little piles of waste stone that they've they got pulled out when they're ploughing, probably. <laughs> or are they megalithic sites? Who knows? Hi, pretty, pretty. This is in uh, Blessington, just uh, on the shores of the lock here. This road has some of the most astonishing walling I've ever seen. It's real beautiful. Some very skilled fellas around here. Beautiful polygonal work quite new, mixed with all the work. Walk down this lane and it gets quite amazing down there. I just chanced upon it the other day. Down here again we can see these granite posts worked down the wall. Intriguingly. Each of these stones, I mean that. That goes that goes right back as deep it is as it is wide. I'd say that's nah, sixty centimeters at its widest point. They're very hefty stones. They go that stone goes goes right back as 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 uh, Deep is, is wide at least, I can't feel the back of it. Quite astonishing. And it's uh, Again, that's, yeah, well, down to the foundations, at least six foot high. It probably goes another course underground. There's a small bank there, a small bank on the edge. I guess there's another course under here, so it's probably about seven, well, um, yeah, seven or eight foot high going right, if you're including the foundations. Each of those blocks are, I don't think I'd be able to lift the, the majority of them. I definitely wouldn't be able to lift them more than once. <laughs> I mean, now I probably wouldn't, but in my prime, I might have just been able to heft the smaller ones there. 
just, but it'd be on the limit. I mean, yeah, I think most of those books, there, there'd be two men lifting them. And, um, yeah, a pretty back-breaking job at that. See again, it's two courses with a, two courses with filling in between. Really astonishing walling. Well, to my eye, I'm used to North Yorkshire Moor walls with nice little lumps of sandstone, and this stuff is just it's verging on megalithic <laughs> everywhere you look. section is just insane. Look at that. The size of that. Again, that's... I'd, I'd come up to about here. So that's a, it's a good six foot high, not including anything underground. I mean, the majority of these blocks, the majority of those, I, I wouldn't, just, I definitely wouldn't be able to lift the vast majority of those. I could maybe, like, these, yeah, these smaller ones, kind of manageable. But these, these blocks, yeah, too big for one man to handle. On this side, it's more manageable. On the sign leading into this village, they actually call it the Granite Village. Just beautiful. Some of this walling is just staggering. Yeah. 
Look at the size of that, that's flipping. I come up to there, five foot, six, seven, yeah, eight foot tall, eight foot tall without, um, without the foundations, although, I mean, those foundation blocks. Um, they, may, they may be as, as far down as it goes, because Yeah, I, th I think they might. I think that may be the lower, co the lowest course. I mean, those are just, yeah, they're, they're huge, great hunks. This is uh, it would be about seventy centimeters wide at its widest point. Take a shot of that with the wide angle. That runs all the way up as far as the eye can see. Well, not as far as the eye can see, but it runs all the way up to the village. I mean, all in all, yeah, I mean, yeah, flipping massive. Blooming giants, these lads.
and again running up this wall we have these these posts intermittently I'm wondering if they are to tie these walls together because the they're so heavy these walls and this, the blocks are so big that I'm not sure whether they'll sort of tie together so well between the courses there's not so many surfaces in contact um, like here so I wonder if they're putting vertical uprights inside them well actually would that even tie it together I'm not sure yeah, I, I, I wonder if, if that's what those if that's what these are about They may be as well. They may be as well stop a collapse if if a pe if a section of the wall collapses. Um, those vertical uprights might just break, act like um, fire breaks, maybe, and just um, stop the. It's actually got holes in it, so hmm. Maybe it is a. Maybe they, maybe they were, are there to take fencing wire when before wooden fence posts were cheaply available. Yeah. we're down on actually I think this might be a drain I wonder anyway sun's going down I'll leave that with you dude <laughs> now then <laughs> it's a little uh Little stone circle in there. Guessing it's um guessing that's modern but it might not be. So much of it about around here.
What the fuck? <laughs> it's just disappeared.